Coming up new at 6, how one Charlottesville teen is making a difference by doing a task many of us take for granted, by doing others' laundry. Live from the CBS 19 News studio, this is CBS 19 News at 6, Charlottesville News first. Next at 6, we'll introduce you to a local teen really making a difference in people's lives. A teenager in Charlottesville is making a difference in the community one load of laundry at a time. He calls it the Laundry Project. New at 6 tonight, Brianna Hamlin tells us how he brought the nonprofit to Charlottesville. Dan and Tara, Cutter Houston, who brought the Laundry Project here, says it's amazing the impact it makes when people who don't have access to a washer and dryer at home get to get their laundry done for free. Cutter Houston is 17 years old and the regional coordinator of the nonprofit The Laundry Project. He brought the initiative to Virginia after his family moved back to Charlottesville from Florida, where it's based. Before I started volunteering in Florida, I had no idea that people didn't have access to wash their clothes. I've been fortunate enough to have a washer and dryer in my house. Now that I know that people don't have the opportunity to wash their clothes on like a daily basis, um, I, I realized how impactful my, my organization has been for some people. Houston says he knew Charlottesville could use some positivity, so he started a club at his school, Albemarle High School, for other students to volunteer. They have done three so far at Express Laundry and one at Preston Suds, which he says was his most successful free laundry day yet. We've had um, almost $1,000 worth of laundry we washed. Um, that's like 300 loads. He says it took a little bit for people at the laundromat to warm up to the idea of someone offering to do their laundry. Almost everybody is extremely skeptical and they're kind of hesitant to, to take part in, in getting their laundry done for free. But at the end of the day when they realize that it's really no strings attached, we're just like the community giving back to them, they just become really open. I've gotten hugs, smiles, tears of joy. Now Clorox is awarding him with a $15,000 grant for the launch of their What Comes Next project. The grant will help Cutter grow the nonprofit here and wherever he chooses to go to college, where he hopes to build on what he learned from volunteering with the Laundry Project. I think it's incredibly important just to connect with the people that you live with and live around, and I think it, it helps unify his communities. Houston says he wants to major in civil engineering, which has nothing to do with laundry, but he hopes to help others with whatever he does in the future. Reporting in Charlottesville, Brianna Hamblin, CBS 19 News. He's got a good start, and if you'd like to learn more about the project, we'll have more on Cutter's efforts on CBS19news.com a little later tonight.